Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomery here with this Wednesday afternoon mountain weather update. I want to go to radar first and just show you where our storm system is right now. So here's radar out of Colorado. You can also see parts of New Mexico and everything's sort of everything's sort of rotating around a developing area of low pressure. Initially, we had a cold front come in and that's what gave us our first shot of snow. Now we're moving on to our second shot because what's going to happen is this area of low pressure will come out of New Mexico, Four Corners, Colorado, and it's going to slowly move up through the eastern plains of Colorado, uh, northern New Mexico, and deliver a second batch of snow and heavy accumulations to many of the same places that already got hit once. So, you know, the prime areas are going to be southern Colorado in the mountains and also the mountains of northern New Mexico. I think that's where some of the biggest grand totals are going to be. One of those should be Taos, where it is snowing and blowing down there they've had nine inches in the last 24 look at that look at that wind blowing right there on that camera blowing that snow around um 13 in the last uh few days now nine inches is just appetizer snow um it's going to snow hard there over the next couple of days and we're going to add at least um potentially another couple feet of snow around Taos. So i'll show you those numbers coming up i mean wolf creek's already cranking it out in southern colorado the eastern escarpment of the San Juans, a 19-inch storm total, 14 of that out in the last in the last 24 hours, and it's still snowing down there. It's unbelievable. What a start to the season in southern Colorado. Um, okay, let me show you the lay of the land here. So on water vapor, the moisture loft is in the whites and the blues, and you can almost see the low spinning up right here over the four corners and helping to really escort that moisture and rotate those winds in across eastern and Colorado, southern Colorado, northern New Mexico, and give us some lift. So that's going to take its time. I mean, it's it's probably not going to exit Colorado until 11-9. So we've got at least two solid days of this ahead, where it's just going to snow over many of the same areas. Area of low pressure up here will be a player in the extended forecast. We'll push a cold front out ahead of it. So all of that is in my forecast. Let me show you my latest timeline for best odds of snow. So the Wasatch, the next chance of snow is 11-11 into 11-12 with moderate to heavy accumulation potential. You can see the Tetons, Colorado, it's tonight for a lot of places. Um, and then it, the next shot would be afternoon 11.8 into 11.9 and again on 11.12. Um, Tahoe still looks like a light, uh, a shot of light accumulation on 11.11 potentially. And of course, New Mexico, you've got heavy snow accumulation tonight all the way through 11.8. Okay, here is the latest radar and satellite, forecast radar and satellite. So that is by 5.30 here. Um, you can see where all the activity is in Colorado and New Mexico. Still there by tomorrow still sitting and spinning, then the low finally ejects out of New Mexico into Colorado or the Eastern Plains, pushing all that snow up by 25. And it's another shot of snow for the Denver metro area with probably six to 12 inches of accumulation coming to the metro area of Denver between Friday afternoon and Saturday morning, somewhere in there as this low comes back over the Eastern Plains. And that means even bigger amounts for areas west and south of Denver. Um, across areas above 6,000 feet, Palmer Divide, Foothills. What, down in southern Colorado, you've got feet of snow, Cuchara, Spanish Peaks, Culebra, Blanca, Crest Stones, all the way down to Taos and Angel Fire and Ski Santa Fe. Big time. Wolf Creek as well. And then that low slides up the eastern plains. This is Saturday morning at 5. It's still uh, putting out snowfall. And then it's finally gone. Then we uh, wait on the next cold front, and here it comes down from the northwest, slides into the Intermountain West. So this is that next shot of snow for the uh, the Tetons and the Wasatch, and here it is 11-11 to 11-12. Then it slides into Colorado, and then the whole thing just kind of fades away after that. And then the storm track will shift and favor the northern tier, the Pacific Northwest in B.C. So my latest numbers... Rest of today through tomorrow, you can see where the big numbers are. Anywhere in purple, pink is over a foot. So that's southern Colorado, northern New Mexico. Less snow as you go north, um, and potentially absolutely nothing for a lot of the, uh, the Wyoming, Utah, Idaho, Montana area for the next 24 to 36 hours. Then that changes. Here's a second time period. This is 11.8 through 11.15. Um, so here... 
But on 11.8, we've got the leftover snow in Colorado from that area of low pressure on 11.8 and 11.9. That's what you're seeing there. And it could be significant. We could be seeing another foot of snow on the Continental Divide of Colorado, but Loveland, A Basin, Winter Park, Keystone, Summit County, Vail, all the way down into the, San, the eastern San Juans, and of course the southern mountains of Colorado and northern New Mexico, in for that big additional snow on the 8th and 9th. Then as we look ahead, 11.11 11, and 11.12, that's when we see that snow in the Tetons, and the snow in the Wasatch, the snow in Idaho, and the snow in Montana. And we're going to see snow up in the Pacific Northwest in BC. But you're also going to get a second shot with that final area of low pressure um, very late in the period, 11, 13, 14, and 15 in the Pacific Northwest in BC. So that's how we get to all those numbers. So we're looking good at this point. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this afternoon Mountain Weather Update. Appreciate you tuning in here. Take care and have a great night.